Sabah everybody and welcome back to the channel. Today's video is all about Oxygen OS 9.0 with Android Pi on our OnePlus 6. It was made official yesterday that it is officially going out as an OTA. It's a staged rollout. So today's video is going to walk you through a couple of things. A, I'm going to show you how to be able to go directly into that OTA if you don't want to wait for it to come in. As well as the fact that if you're running on the beta channel, how to go from the beta channel to the stable channel as that's not a straight upgrade from one to the other. This is TK, let's check it out. The last video I did for you guys, I showcased some of the new benefits of the Android Pi Beta 3 on our device. I'm still running that same beta, so if I go down here, I'll go system, I'll go not developer options, we'll go one more system update. It's going to give you basically there's no updates. What we need to do now is convert over to the stable channel so that we can actually use our device. So that's a couple of things we need to do. A, if you just download the actual OTA itself, here's the full OTA right there. Um, it's going to tell me that it's, going to try, it's trying to downgrade, so it's not going to allow me to do that. It says that basically that this version is older than the one that's on my device. Again, I'm running a beta. So there's a couple of steps that we need to do. We need to A, downgrade our device back to, stand, to Oreo before we go back to full stable or, uh, Pi. So what we need to do at this point is A, go into our device, open up your OnePlus, uh, your OnePlus Switch basically, and then using this application, use the backup option and then do new backup. A backup all your information on your device, your applications, your launcher, your system information, all of that stuff, back it up to your internal storage, and then unload that off using an OTG adapter of any sort or even your PC so that you can actually start working on this as we're gonna need to reset our device and that's unfortunate. So what it means to us, it meaning is when we go through this process with this update, it's gonna restart the device. Let's go ahead and under system update. I'm gonna go local and I'm gonna select the downgrade version. Now there'll be a link for that as well in the description. So I'll use the downgrade to stable Oreo and it's right there. It says package will, you've selected will reset your device in factory default setting after the installation. Are you sure you wanna install it? If I go through this option, it means anything and everything that I have on here, pictures, games, everything, all of this stuff that's gonna get wiped and this device is gonna come back as if it's a brand new operating system which also means that, um, let's go ahead and go here, that this additional file that I have downloaded here, the update will also get wiped. So for the sake of this exercise, what I'm doing here is I'm using an OTG adapter, but you can definitely use your PC. Um, I've already offloaded these two files to this adapter. I'm gonna go through, I'll go ahead and select this. I'm gonna downgrade, I've already backed up my device. And all you need to do make sure is when you do that backup is offload it off the device before you go through here. And once we select that, we'll allow the system set, it's gonna go through the update process and then it's gonna restart the device with a reset, which means the device is gonna basically be brand new, but running the latest build of Oreo on our device. We're no longer gonna be on Pi. So again, step back to go forward. And as I mentioned to you guys, the device is basically wiped. It's brand new. It's running the latest version of Oreo. So I'm going to go through, I'm going to skip through this process as we're going to basically update it. So, so this is the latest running Oreo build. So I'll go in here, I'll go down about device. You'll see right there, it's Android 8.1.0. Now there's two ways of doing this. You can either go into system update and then check for system updates once you're connected to a network. And it, depending on your luck and when you're doing, when you see in this video, you should be able to receive the OTA update and then update straight using that process. Now that should be fine. But because they do a stage rollout and some of us may not be able to wait, uh, there is the second option, which essentially is the local update. But unfortunately, as I mentioned, this device has been wiped, so there's nothing on here anymore. So what I'm going to do is I need to go back. Unfortunately, with OnePlus devices, they disable OTG connection by default. So you have to find the OTG option, go down, and then insert your OTG uh, adapter right there. That little option there gives me the fact that it's connected, it's ready to transfer, and then go into the files, the file manager in, in there, go to storage, Go to internal, we'll go back, we'll go to disk. Once you transfer those files to your system, you can go ahead and eject that little drive, give it a second, it says don't remove, now it's ready. So now our files are back on our device. Again, you could do this with a PC or you could do this with a USB OTG cable, depending what you have. Now you can go all the way down to system update and then go local and then you can select the files. Now I transferred both my files back only because I couldn't see how they were written in the file manager. But overall, I need to go to 2.5. That's the latest version. And that's the full OTA update. Do not install an incremental update. Go straight with the 1.6 gig. Anything over 1.5 gigs is basically the full OTA. 
when I select it now, it's going to give me the ability to basically update and uh, basically go all the way to the stable version of Android Pie. Now, you could have restored your data here in Android Oreo and then upgraded as this process will not wipe your device anymore. But uh, for me, I'm just going to go through all the way to Pi, fresh installation, everything is clean, and then just do an import of all my data back using the OnePlus switch as that's basically the easiest way now to be able to just restore and back up your data simply on your OnePlus 6. And here we have it. We are now officially running Android Pi. Here it is, Android 9, September 5th, 2018. And here is our Easter egg. Now, the device is now updated directly to the latest version of Android Pie stable. So there's no more issues with that. So the recent applications have been switched. You'll notice right there. Uh, I'm able to go in here and I'm gonna go down and all the way down into gestures. Let's go down into the gestures option, button and gestures, select the navigation and gestures. You can go to back home. Now that's the standard pixel or the standard uh, uh, Pie navigation. You can go home, swipe between them, swipe between them, swipe between, and of course, swipe up, go all the way all down, or clear all applications. Now, as I showed you guys, we have the ability of launching. Here's the uh, Android Pie standard navigation gestures. You're also able to switch between that and the standard one that basically OnePlus has been using since the OnePlus 6. So you go to navigation gestures. Here are the standard uh, buttons options or the navigation gestures. So I can go home, I can go recent application. Um, and uh, to actually press up and hold, that's the recent here. I kind of get confused between the two. Uh, personally, I like to keep the ones that we have from the standard build of Pi, as those are more consistent with the uh, Pixel device that I have. So I'll go here with the back home button and then all the options come up. Keep in mind, this is the latest stable version. So that means some of the features that we saw in the latest version of the beta may not be here yet, which means we'll get them very soon. One of the ones I'm actually uh, really sad to see that they did take away, which if you go under the gestures to app option, you don't have the ability of pressing uh, and holding the first option to be able to turn on the assistant. That was something that they added here as part of the latest beta, beta three, where we don't have that here. Uh, let's go through and check real quick under display. We have notch hide, of course, ambient display is still in here, lift up to turn on. And then of course, reading mode, night mode, screen calibration, sleep, uh, ambient display is built in here, black like theme. I'll go ahead and go back and set it up to black. I'll get it changed back real quick. And that one seems to be working fine. Uh, volume rocker gets themed. And this one still doesn't have it, but that's fine. Uh, and of course we can go through, but uh, it looks like ambient display is here. We still don't have always on display. That's something that we didn't have even in the beta. They took that away from Oreo. Uh, battery option and it looks like uh, digital well-being will not be available till the next update so we'll hopefully get that very soon i don't i hope the process was not that complicated what we did today is we went from the beta channel of android pi all the way to the stable channel of android pi and sometimes the beta channel is a little bit ahead of where the stable channel is and that's the reason why i mentioned to you guys when we looked at the end we didn't see that press and hold to turn on the assistant so that's a new feature in beta 3 that was announced maybe less than a week ago and we don't see it in the stable channel but keep in mind this will come down the road so overall, the process is very simple. You do need to reset your device if you want to get off the beta channel, although you can stay there and you can keep going through that section. Um, but again, if you want to do that, this is the process to do it and you need to back up and reset your device. Other than that, it's really exciting. I can't wait to see the OnePlus 16 and what it's going to bring for us, obviously with the rumors coming out, but definitely very excited to see that we have official Android Pi now on our OnePlus 6, which means the 60 should come out with Android Pi built in, which is very, very cool. This is TK. Thank you very much for the support. Like and subscribe as usual. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. And I hope you find this video very helpful and share it with your friends that are running the beta channel because that's pretty much the only way to go to the stable channel on Android Pi.